books in my hand, my boys by my side. Hold on to your hats, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Never know what you'll see when you're hanging with the Book Boys 3. A duck, a truck, Charlotte's Web, save me a C. I'm a book boy, I'm a, I'm a book boy. Oh yeah, we love to read. Hey readers, this week we're gonna take a deep dive into the ocean. Literally. That's right. We're gonna check out some of the coolest, fastest, scariest, strongest, most exciting creatures on the planet. Sharks. You guys ready? You know I'm ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we dive in, boys, let's learn a little bit about our book of the week. Who would win Ultimate Shark Rumble by Jerry Pilata? Oh man, now I'm super excited to go swimming with the sharks and a little intimidated. Those guys are tough. They sure are. Who Would Win Ultimate Shark Rumble imagines an epic face-off between 16 different types of sharks, tournament style, to determine who is the ultimate champion shark. The face-offs are super fun and share tons of exciting facts about sharks. For example, did you know that while humans only have 32 adult teeth, Sharks go through literally thousands of teeth in their lifetime. Now, that's a lot of trips to the dentist. I loved how the rumbles between the sharks were based on nonfiction facts, but with a fictional twist. Yeah, they were so action-packed, the colorful illustrations really helped me picture it. Speaking of, are you guys ready to do some diving? I can't wait. Ooh, let's do it. I thought we could each pick a shark from the book and share our own fun facts about them, just like Jerry Pilata. Awesome. Let's go. I wanted to see the leopard shark. It's the only shark with leopard-like spots, which are really cute. I also learned that they tend to be homebodies, which means that they stay in the same area most of their life. I guess we can all kind of relate to that nowadays. I think they'd be a pretty good shark to stay at home and read a book with. I chose the bassoon shark because look at that guy. He's huge. In fact, it's the second biggest fish in the ocean up to 32 feet long. It may look a little intimidating, but it's no danger to humans at all. In fact, one of its favorite pastimes is sunbathing, which I can definitely get behind. I chose the Greenland shark, also known as the Gurry shark. They live the longest of any shark, between 300 and 500 years. That means that if you met a Greenland shark today, it could be older than the United States. It also could have been friends with Shakespeare, and it could have been around when the apple fell on Sir Isaac Newton's head. Wow, you guys picked some good ones. You too. So now, the real question is, which would win in a rumble? I think the answer is pretty obvious. You mean the leopard shark, because it would blind everybody with its cuteness, right? Are you kidding? The basking shark would distract them with a sunbathing party. The sharks would be too distracted to rumble. The Greenland shark has been around forever. Do you have any idea how wise he is? Yours don't even stand a chance. Man, how does Jerry Pilata do it? Something to think about. We hope that you and your students have fun taking a deep dive into sharks with Jerry Pilata's ultimate shark rumble, just like we did. And maybe it'll inspire you to do some shark research on your own. Be sure to pick up a copy for your class and let us know in the comments all the things you discover. See you next time.